Hello guys and welcome, it's your boy Clubert and in today's video, we'll be continuing our laser journey more precisely providing answers to the question of what exactly you can cut and engrave with a 5.5 watt diode laser engraver I'll be sharing with you best settings I have used for different material types ranging from plywood to acrylic to black aluminum and this is for whether you are cutting or engraving for customized gifts or for products to sell let's dive in The 5.5 watt laser engraver used for this test is the Kentuck 2 Locatsang Pro. So keep this in mind when making comparisons with your personal experiences. Okay, okay, let's go for real this time. We will kick off with engraving capabilities where we will focus on materials and quality. Well, the machine engraves easily and beautifully on craft paper with the settings recommended in the manual 80% power and running at 6000 mm per minute. It does pretty good on plywood, but try to clamp your bolts if you can. Some of my plywood boards had small curvatures which caused the laser to focus out of the workpiece and lead to uneven engraving or burn marks at certain points. At 90% power and 5000 mm per minute, we get outputs like this. So this means it obviously engraves just fine on thicker wood and even wood that has some finish on it like this one. To see how it fares on metals, I used some gift items namely this flask, some jewelry and this cute dog collar attachment. I don't have a dog so I used it for something else like attaching it to this cute purse. So it engraves just fine on metallic surfaces as well as you can see on the different test surfaces. Engraving on curved surfaces was a bit of a challenge when trying to frame correctly because I did not bother getting proper support for, for engraving on curved surfaces. This little piece here was up to the task for, for the most part. So far, the output is quite good. I'm loving all of it. Now, there's a lot of debate on whether it is even worth trying to engrave on transparent acrylic with a diode laser, left alone a 5.5 watt laser engraver. Well, yes, it engraves just fine if you handle the reflections properly. Using a black metallic plate underneath generally suffices, but for a more pronounced engraving, you can use some blackening on the base surface as you can see here. You see the difference between when the surface is black and when it is not. The last material I tried engraving on was ceramic. I used this mug which for some reason looks more like a weapon than <laughs> looks more like a weapon than a mug. Anyways, we don't judge here. Let's go. I went really slow with this one, 90% power and running at 200 mm per minute. I think I did not position the mock right, as you can see that the engraving is very weak on this on this side in particular. That aside, it looks quite good. So as far as engraving goes, you can engrave on all the materials listed and recommended on in the manual, from craft paper to non-reflective stainless steel. So if you need a machine to engrave some of your DIY projects, customize a gift for someone or even to start your own small scale engraving business, a 5.5 wide diode laser will engrave good enough. But if you are in search of a professional quality engraving and top notch accuracy and output, my advice is to go higher on the laser ladder. So far, I've been impressed with my DIY needs, so I'll be sticking around longer right here as far as engraving is concerned. Without out of the way, this brings us neatly to another session of all you can cut. More like all you can't cut. Now the guide says that the laser can cut up to 10 millimeters of solid wood. I definitely will agree with that because I tested it and if it's eventually going to cut, it's going to have to take ages. I waited so long I had to take it out. But here's what I have used as a reference. This is a 3 millimeter thick plywood and cutting at this thickness alone requires much patience as you are running at 350 millimeters per minute or lower to cut properly. So bottom line is it can't probably cut up to 10 millimeters of solid wood unless you are ready to run the laser at speeds of 50 and below and sit it out for no matter how long it takes we are talking about probably 20 to 40 passes it's really not worth it anyways that aside cutting anywhere lower than five millimeters works perfectly and this is what i highly recommend because this is the thickness range I have tested myself and I can confirm that it cuts properly. So yeah, as you can see, I cut out the parts of this fan in the previous video. In the previous video, I cut out the front and the back of this house and I've cut out quite some other things. 
so if you can cut this good you and this was by the way done with three millimeters thick plywood so if you can cut this good you know that it cuts um, small thicknesses so like i said lower than five millimeters you're good to go while working with the right thickness be sure to clamp your workpiece properly to avoid messing up like this and having certain areas of the cut come off easily and others breaking because maybe that area wasn't cut properly so clamp your workpiece if you can i haven't actually cut acrylic i haven't had any reason to cut acrylic oh well might as well cut it now so yeah the results are out well this sheet is two millimeter thick and i ran the laser at 150 millimeters per minute for eight passes and it just barely scratched halfway into the sheet so yeah this is no good so yeah we we'll just stick to cutting plywood of thicknesses from 5mm and below if your time means anything to you. So that's all you can engrave and cut with a 5.5 watt laser engraver. I use the Kentoctus Lokatsang Pro laser engraver for this test and you see the results for yourself. If you enjoyed this video then I hope I have gained your like and subscription. In my next video, I will be taking a break from making to appreciate all 103 of you and reflect on how far we have come since I turned my mini flag into a makerspace and posted that first video. Thank you all and see you in the next one. Bye bye. Anyways, it's been your boy Tilbert guys. Like and subscribe for more. See you all in the next one. Thank you.